In Xamarin Informs, you had to do all the kinds of crazy things with storyboards and Android activities to create your splash screen. No more of that. In .NET MAUI, you can just create your splash screen with one simple entry. And the best thing is, you can use SVGs. So here we are in Visual Studio 2022. I just created a file, the new .NET MAUI application. You can see it right here. Uh, we have the main page.xaml and on the right, you can see the project structure, which is all nice in that single project. So you now have the iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, all the projects in one project. Um, so, and that's really cool, but that also poses kind of like a problem. How do you go about resources now? Um, because before we had to do all the images in like our iOS project or our Android project, all the kind of different sizes. And if you wanted to do a splash screen, you had to have a splash screen of sorts uh, for all platforms. Now, that's all things that you can still do, um, but you don't need to do it anymore. So let's just quickly run the application that we have right now that we get out of the box. I'm running it here on Windows subsystem for Android. Um, and whenever it comes up, you will see um, very quickly the splash screen that is generated automatically for us. Um, which is just the .NET logo um, on the .NET branded background. Here we are. That's it. And then we land in the application. So that is really cool. Um, but let's see how easy it is to set this up and how easy it is to customize it. Um, so for that, we go to the CS project file, to the project file, uh, where we have all the configuration for our project. You can see all these things here, uh, app identifier, display name for on your device, um, all these kinds of things. But if we go here, you can see there is configuration for the app icon. So you can basically do all of this the same way for um, the app icon. So that's the icon that you will see on your device. Um, so you can use an SVG for that. You can see all the things here. Um, but what I'm going to talk about here is the splash screen. So um, the splash screen just has this um, separate thing now, which is the Maui splash screen. Uh, we can point to an SVG file um, or some other um, icon, some other image type, if that's what you want. Um, but SVG, you know, that scales nicely. So you probably want to use an SVG. Um, and we can specify a color. So that will be the background color that is used. Now, if we want to customize this, you can see here the resources folder. So this is now pointing to this um, app I config dot SVG, something like that. Um, but here I have in this folder a subscribe YouTube logo dot SVG, although it shows the edge logo, but that's some weird setup on my machine. But I can um, drag this into my resources folder here and you can see that this is a SVG file. So let's go back over here and now I can say, okay, I want to use here the subscribe YouTube logo and make this a little hyphen right here. Now, this will blow up on me. This will not work. Um, because but there is still this weird thing in Android where you can't use hyphens in the file name. So that's why I wanted to show you that here. So let's just let this rebuild for a little bit and we expect to see an error. Um, here we are. So it's, it seems blank, but it has a couple of new lines in here. One or more invalid file names detected. File case must be lowercase. Start and end with a letter character and only contains alpha number characters or underscores. So um, we need to change this. So let me actually right click here and do rename. And I'm just going to uh, name this um, splash screen. And the cool thing is that it will automatically also update here in our CS project file. So now we have splash screen dust SVG. Um, now this is the color. So let's just make this something, um, I don't know, something really weird. You can use green or you can use any hex value if that's what you want. Um, let's save this. Let's do another rebuild because um, what this does is um, uh, it breaks. You can see that here. <laughs> so let's try that again. Um, rebuild. And while this is rebuilding, so what this does, it will take the kind of like special entries here, like the Maui image and the Maui splash screen, and it's going to generate the resources for us that is needed on each platform. So for Android, it's going to um, come up with some kind of theme resource that is specific to Android and is going to resize our image. Um, to be the right size there. And it's all going to generate that for us inside of the application. Um, same thing, of course, for iOS and the storyboards. It's going to do all this magic. Actually, this is also possible right now with Xamarin Forms by using the Resizatizer plugin, uh, which has been a plugin that supports all these SVGs and all these kinds of things um, to uh, make it easier to manage all the image resources here. Um, and that is something that is now incorporated directly into .NET MAUI. 
So this is all done. It's all generated. And if we run this again now, um, we expect to see some kind of YouTube subscribe logo. Um, surprise, surprise by the file name, right? Um, against a green background. So let's see, it's deploying to our um, Windows subsystem for Android again, which I really like to use as a lightweight emulator and is running. And here, here we are, we can see the green background and the subscribe logo. So if you haven't done so already, you might want to subscribe to my channel right now. Of course, there is still a lot of other crazy things that you can do with the splash screen. You can still do all the platform specific stuff as well uh, on storyboards and on Android as well, maybe do some animation. Um, but this is a very easy way to just implement that splash screen, make it look nicely, just add your logo or thing in there um, and without any hassle, right? I remember before when I had to do this for my exam forms application and you had to go through each project and see how it behaves differently. Um, now you can just specify that SVG, specify a background color and boom you have a nice looking splash screen which is really amazing thank you so much for watching again one of my videos let me know if you want to see any other subjects like the maui image and how you can use that for your app icon um, or for the rest just subscribe to my channel if you're liking my videos and um, then you will automatically be notified of all those new videos that i'm putting out for you let me know down in the comments if you have any questions other than that i'll be seeing you for my next video keep coding